This year's coverage of the Consumer Electronics Show was brought to you in part by Lenovo and their Legion Y720 Gaming Notebook. The Legion Y720 is powering all of the videos shot this year in Las Vegas. Hey guys, welcome back to WCCF Tech. This is Keith and we're here at the Gigabyte Aorus Gaming uh, Suite here at CES 2018 and we're taking a look specifically today at two uh, motherboards. We've got some B-roll looking around at the event, but the biggest thing that we're looking at here is we're gonna start off with this. This is their mining motherboard. We're gonna take a quick, take a look, get up real close here and look at it. This is a Gigabyte B250 board. They said they originally designed this for a client in China, and it actually did so well that they decided to bring it to the market due to demand that they got. So you got an 8-pin connector up here for the CPU, and you can use anything from a Celeron up to an i7. I mean, you definitely don't want to spend too much on your processor with this setup. It's got four DIMM slots. I think it would have been better off with two, but I could, I, I guess, you know, simplicity, they probably already had some things going. But the thing here is you've got one full PCI Express by 16, it's fully wired, and then you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, so twelve altogether PCI Express slots. So you have your four pin Molex here and another four pin Molex here for additional power because all of these are going to be on riser cables, of course, even this one. I guess, unless you wanted to run one not on a cable, but that is what it is. It's got a uh, six uh, SATA 3 ports there in case you need to have an obtuse amount of storage on your mining rig. But for the most part, it's very simple, very well laid out. Nice VRM heatsink for your CPU. I guess, you know, if it's tucked away and there's not a lot of airflow, it helps keep that nice and cool. But it's a very thin board, full ATX uh, height. So it's really cool to see that Gigabyte's getting in on the mining craze. And if you're wondering about I.O. on it, you got your two, move this around. You got two USB, you got your PS2, VGA, DVI, four USB 3s. Audio, you got audio and Ethernet, so you got everything you need to get it kind of set up and rolling. So that's really cool to see. Big, uh, I don't know, I, I appreciate that from Gigabyte. Maybe you guys do too. The other thing that we want to get in, and we're going to cut to some B-roll because I actually don't have the board. They actually keep it kind of in the back, and they're meeting with other press on it. But um, taking a look at it, let me get to the right page here. This is what they're calling their next-gen AMD chipset, X470 maybe. I don't know, I guess they haven't figured out what name they wanted to have on it, but it is their next-gen AMD chipset motherboard. This is their gaming KI7, so full-blown. Let's go, uh, we got some specifications from them on it. It's a beautiful board, really cool to see this already. I was kind of disappointed we didn't see more from other vendors, but at least Gigabyte, thank you for having something here for us to look at. As far as the power delivery, you're looking at a 10 plus two IR power face, so 10 for the CPU, two for the memory. Uh, eight plus four pin, uh, EPS connectors so you've got uh, basically the way they described it to us they wanted the chip to be the limiting factor and not the power delivery in the board so definitely have kudos for that much appreciated this uh, if this thing goes well this may be my new motherboard we've got some chips sitting there waiting to be used uh, what else they have on here we got part of the power delivery you've got six millimeter direct contact heat pipe with actual heat fin array so no aluminum chunks no blocks for the heat sinks actual aluminum fin array so very much appreciated that i wish i'd seen more people do this uh this i'm sure comes out of the x299 ideal where you know vrm heating was a big issue if we start to see more of this design on more motherboards i don't think we'll ever see that problem again hopefully so it's got two m.2 slots one to the cpu and one to the chipset the rear, we got an integrated I.O. shield, which is really nice. Um, it seems kind of gimmicky, but if you ever use it, you'll appreciate it, especially if you're like an open test bench so you don't ram slots into something else. Again, using the next generation Ryzen chipset, supporting uh, the next Zen Plus and then Zen 2 when that comes along. They didn't mention that, but they just said it does have an Intel Wi-Fi adapter. It's got a 90, the 9260 Wi-Fi adapter, so that's really neat. Uh, pricing. Pricing and availability, they said about $250, and you're looking at a mid-April release. Now, if that's just the motherboard, it may be alongside other processors, but we'll find out when we go see AMD. Hopefully, we can get some answers out of them. But $250 for this motherboard seems like a very good deal. And they said they've only had it testing for about a week, but one thing that if what they say is right and leading into the next generation of Ryzen CPUs, there's going to be a lot of focus on memory performance. So definitely looking forward to seeing that. So this has been Keith here at the Gigabyte Aura Suite with the B250 mining, mining motherboard as well as the next generation Ryzen chipset motherboard gaming K7. So we'll catch you guys in the next video.